ready for another adventure on Touring with TC. We take you off the beaten path into both the heart of the Victorian high country and the beautiful Blue Mountains. Setting off from Melbourne to Sydney, but we'll be tackling some of the trickier tracks the high country has to offer. It's not all smooth sailing, pushing the limits of our 4x4s and facing some sticky situations. So buckle up and join us as we embark on another unforgettable journey on Touring with TC. Tastes like fun. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the Black Thunder, baby! Any river crossings? <laughs> Right on it! Ah! <laughs> I just yeah, had a fight with the park man. How many times I fucking strap this tire to the roof? <laughs> <laughs> TC Boxes has just opened up a new warehouse in Sydney and the boss has sent us on an absolute ripper of a journey to help set up for the grand opening. Sure, you could take the Hume and be there in eight hours, but where's the fun in that? We'll be kicking off our journey on the edge of the snowy mountains in the historic town of Omeo. We'll be rolling out the swags at Limestone Creek Campground and then straight to the iconic Davies Plain Hut. The team will cross the Murray River at Tom Grogan, pushing our way through the Kosciuszko National Park and into the Blue Mountains, all before finally making it to the Big Smoke in Sydney and the new TC Boxes Warehouse. So, without further ado, let's get stuck into it. All right, trendsetters. On our next big trip up to New South Wales to visit the new TC Boxes store. Uh, we're headed to a few spots. I've absolutely no idea where they are. It's uh, about five and a half hours of road driving. We've got the tunes pumping and uh, we're all pretty excited, I reckon, for this one. It's going to be good. We're up, uh, we're up at Omeo at the moment. We've got the Golden Age Hotel behind us. We've just dropped in there for an ale or two. A bit of lunch, it's beautiful. Open steak sandwich, highly recommend. The rigs are here in all their glory. A couple of massive days for the boys. So stick with us and yeah, let's have some fun. Long after the pub, we're finally off the bitumen and into some pretty scenic drive. Uh, we've got Shane up ahead who just radioed back to say we're going to need to drop it into uh, low four for this next bit so everyone gets excited when we hear that. Good time to uh, finally enjoy my morning coffee. Sounds like it might be okay. Here we are, we've just come off the dustiest track you've ever seen in your life. 
Uh, in fact, you couldn't see anything, nothing. I don't know how I got here. I don't know who I followed. A cloud, that's how I got here. Do the TC box, under tray boxes, keep the dust out. Well, this is a perfect example. Let's have a look, get in here, Jakey, and see. Look at that. Inside, clean, brand new. As the light starts to fade, we set up camp for the night, and we're all looking forward to getting the fire cracking. It's a a way long too. day on the beach. It's pushed in that way. I call this the captain's chair. You know what? Is it fucking old? Oh because it reclines. We're all jealous. Long bit of timber, and I reckon if we cut it in the pre existing crack, we're gonna split it this thing in half in one strike. It didn't work. Right. Nothing quite beats cracking a cold one and getting stuck into some cards for the arbor, even if Maddie does take all our money. I want to go 10. We even get a visit from the controversial locals of the area. The wild Brumbies have been kicking about these parts in Victoria for over a hundred years, but there's been a lot of focused attention on managing the numbers because of environmental concerns that they bring. We're just airing down the tyres at the moment. We're expecting some rocky terrain on the way there. So some pretty unknown tracks actually. We've never been up this way. So uh, we'll see how everything holds up. And uh, stay tuned. We'll check back with you guys a bit later on. We're starting our uh, second day here now. Uh, finishing up from Limestone Creek camping site to back uh, up to the Davies Plain Hut. So um, we've got a nice little rocky, Rocky track for us all, so we all air down our tyres to uh, get that from there. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of an unknown for us today, so we'll see how that goes. But um, pretty looking forward to the uh, Mayo River crossing at the end over at Tom Goggin. So stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. not to get a sneaky photo shoot of the rigs on the beautiful open ranges of the Vic High Country before we move on to the Davies Plain track. Yeah, we're just around the corner with a, a rut. I probably might just stop people through it. Mark some spots in here. It's all pretty easy going up to this stage, but the track going forward can get chopped up and washed out a bit after some rainfall. Everything goes pretty well as the team cruises through this section. Up until Mark got his lefts and rights mixed up and got himself in a oh, sticky right. situation. Oh, 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 oh. It's hard to tell how steep this actually is, but any further on that line could have been an entirely different situation. Who's behind him? Yeah, back to the dip off him. Couldn't reverse. Just hold the same line, just go back slightly so it moves. Just get ready to put your foot on a brake if it does. Right in, 
hold it. With some good spotting from Shano and some shaky foot driving from Mark, they nudge their way back to reset the line. The best part about most new rigs is that they come with a factory rear diff lock. And with a typical diff, you're putting the power to the wheel with the least resistance, which in this case was about 300 millimetres in the air. <laughs> After we're all through that section, Davy's plane hunt is just up ahead, and there's no better place to pull in for a feed. <laughs> yeah, because you feel like you're going, you feel like you're on the wrong way, but it's all about the back end as well. So if, if you turn too early, then your back drops in, yeah. then you're over the other way. Yeah. So it's all about getting your line for, for both sets of wheels, not just the front. Yeah. Yeah. Blow back. Blow back. Blow back. Blow back. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> no, just, no, more normal. Alrighty, so we're only about 500 metres out of Davy's hut and already we've got a really tough section. The boys are giving us a bit of uh, advice on how to get around it, but we will uh, we'll see how the VT holds up. Hopefully I don't cock this one up because everyone's on the other side watching. Beat for that hole and just miss it. Yep. Let's twist him up. Hey, turn walk, 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 walk. Yep, I'm there. Nice little up. angle on this one. Fucking hell. Just throwing this thing a little flex when it drops in that hole. Right, yeah. straight there. No. Yep, straight. Right, right, right. Come on. Tricky Get old on. section. Yeah, the BT. These boys from Vic, they sure know how to wear their steel caps when it comes to taking forward drive tracks because they are absolutely stomping it. After lunch, we're set for some awesome driving through river crossing, including my favourite part, crossing the Murray into New South Wales to get our camp spot for the night. How far is the river? I'm ready for a swim. Okay. Okay. There's a nice little entry into the river and from he's gone down to walk it just in case. So it's not getting any deeper, just go. Oh no, just to check that, so. 
time of year it's pretty low so lucky for the guys who have still neglected to get a snorkel they push through it slowly Unfortunately, we spent too long driving and missed out on some of the proper bush camps. So it was a quick deviation on the bitumen to the Kosciuszko Tourist Park. But rest assured, Shane's on the barbie cooking up a little treat for the boys and we've all turned in pretty quick for a big day three coming up. Can't shake, use a pet. No, we don't. We don't need to. No, use a pet. Shake, use a pet. There you go. Do the mind copy. Right. <laughs> For our final day, we're up early with a decent leg of driving to get us to Sydney. We started the day on a huge stretch of bitumen before switching into four-wheel drive, turning off onto the Kanangara Boyd National Park, which is part of the Greater Blue Mountains area. Right, we're about an hour out of the uh, Dingo Dell campsite, which is, I think where Frobby's got us going. Um, who knows with Frobby? It's a uh, ever-changing landscape with, with the boat so we, we have one plan we do another but that's all right about eight o'clock this morning my wife rang me and unfortunately our big pup, big boy puppy dog dexter uh, has passed away overnight um, i've spent the last two and a half hours crying a lot bloody sad always sad when you lose your dog he's the big beautiful bernese dog that's in our um in our dog box video he uh, just the epitome of, uh, of, of a dog that you can ask for. Everyone's, you know, the, the, the saying is true, man's best friend. But um, yeah, certainly a upsetting phone call this morning. So I'll miss him dearly. I think everyone at TC will miss him dearly. And um, yeah, it's, been, it's a bit of a sad day for me today, but uh, I'll still try and stay up late. I'll still try and uh, make sure I'm uh, some sort of value to the trip. Uh, yeah, well, I want you and then we just keep going up this track, I think. Yeah. Probably just grabbing the map out there to double check. Cool. No, I do not. Yeah. Need to have a little nap, Jake, I think. All that crying's taken out of me. After a quick bite at the Dingo Dell campground, we climb up the edge of the Blue Mountains and hit some nice little sections towards oh, yeah. the Kanangra Boyd National Park. Pretty good. Coming down was pretty bad. Coming across was pretty good. Woo! Look at that, look at that. Really mate, sorry.
Is that you say golf stuff, eh? I think it is. It is a real. hit the fire track and Frommy has a nice little spot to show the boys on the way to Sydney. If you haven't seen the stunning Canangra walls, it's an absolute sight to see. Ready, Mitchie? Let me go, son. <laughs> oh, is that it? Is that all of you? Hardly impressive. a good look down there, we can see that it's a... Dave, f***ing get the f*** out of the shot, you f***head. Further back. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Man, man. Solid. And, and that can be his headshot for the couple. Hold on again. Ready, set, go. Save a little bit, Mitch. Straight arm it. Oh. <laughs> as much as the team would have liked to stay and straight arm great northerns at the Blue Mountains all day, we had to get everyone to Sydney for the grand opening. finally arrive at our new warehouse, which over the last few months we've been busting our guts to get ready. We had a massive opening day and it was such an amazing experience to share this moment with everyone who came. Never did we think that TC Boxes would be opening up a second store across the country with even bigger hopes of getting one closer to all of you in the future. We have every single one of you to thank for supporting us through our journey and getting little old TC on the map. Stay tuned for more Touring with TC Adventures coming up as we cross the epic Nullarbor on another jam-packed road trip. And join us as we make our way into the heart of South Australia to tackle the Flinders Rangers. If you've enjoyed watching, hit that subscribe button and let us know what you thought of this adventure or where you'd like to see us head to next. We'll see you next time <laughs> on Touring with TC. Hey, pipe down. You didn't know the answer. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.